kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on Learn SQLite using Android Studio. So, basically, in our first part of the video, we ha I had shown you how to insert the data into the database and how to create the database. Then now, in this video, I am going to show you how to display the data which we sent in our first part of the video. So, if you have <laughs> not already subscribed to my channel then please subscribe i request you all so guys let's get started so first of all you need to go to your uh, database helper class and in here you need to cre create a separate me method to fetch the data so it will be in uh, cursor object uh, cursor type of, uh, method so we can say get all data so basically i will create another video in which i will show you the purpose of the cursor class and how we can use the cursor class to do our work so here what we are going to do is we are going to first of all use the sqlite database db equals to this dot get readable database so we need permission to read the database so we can do that using this dot get readable database so now we need to use the cursor object and it will we need to uh, execute the raw query and inside that we can say select static from and we will need to write the table name so we in this case we can say student info and finally we can uh, pass the null value so in this case so now we can say return cursor alright so now inside our main activity dot java file so here we can say we create another method public void display and before that you need to add the user permission of write extern read external storage okay and after that you need to let's go to our xml and here let's have a button and let's try to rename it as display and let's set the on click method to display all right guys so inside our display method we first of all need the cursor object which we are returning from our method so here we can say database helper dot get all data so here we can check if cursor dot get count is zero so it means there is no data so we can display a message to the user that no data available and simply we can return but if there is some data so we need to uh, write the data or save it so we will use the string buffer and here we can say we can use the while loop while cursor dot get or move to next okay and inside that we can simply uh, append the string buffer so we can say string buffer dot append first of all we will have name and then we can say we will have cursor dot get string of index 0 plus then we will have a next line then we can also have another thing which we, we can append and this time it will be age and simply we can say cursor dot get string this time the index will be 1 and finally we can close that and now we now can display the data so here we can print the mess source message and we need to use string buffer dot to string so guys our code is now complete so let's try to run the app and let's see if we are able to successfully display the data inside a toast message or not so 
so guys our application is now running let's try to add another data since we have two data uh, so let's say we have android and let's age as 18 let's say okay and click on insert so you are able to see data inserted it successfully so if we click on display so you are able to see name one name two and name three all right okay so it is you are able to see the id so for uh, the id index will be zero but here uh, instead of zero we need one for our name index and two for our age index so now let's try to run the app again <coughs> so now if you click on display so you are able to see name age all right so this is the way of uh, displaying the data from the SQLite, uh, SQLite uh, database then inside so guys in our next part of the video i will show you how to display the data in a list view custom we will use the, the we will use the custom list view i will upload the link in the video description so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye